Okay, hi everyone, this is Renee Lau here back again. And today, continuing uh, the series of videos is talking about the different benefits of lignans. And in this particular video, I want to focus on lignans uh, benefits in relation to, of course, uh, breast health and breast cancer. Uh, mainly because, you know, of course, we all have uh, very important women in our lives. You know, we all have mothers, of course, and, you know, I have a wife as well, too. And, of course, you know, uh, more than half the population uh, are going to be women in the world. So, uh, getting right into it, uh, again, just talking about the really importance of lignans when it does come to things like breast cancer. Uh, you can see here, this is actually a back to the site from Dr. McCullough, who was again known as uh, you know a really famous person for promoting a lot of the natural and healthy ways to promoting health versus going to drugs and that kind of stuff. And so, our McCullough. You can see here that, uh, just a quick sort of a recap on what lignans are. Uh, lignans are basically things that you find in your, in your daily foods. You know, you eat them on a daily basis. You just don't get quite a lot of it. So things like, you know, your vegetables, your fruits, your beverages, they all have that. But, uh, you know, by Dr. Mercola, uh, he says lignans are a type of plant compound known as polyphenols. And in short, they're really abundant in flax seeds, also found in other seeds like sesame seeds, berries, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Now, what happens is when you actually consume lignans, the bacteria in your gut will convert the plant lignin into the human lignin, uh, including these two things, okay? It's a science thing called enterodial and interlactone, which basically have weak estrogenic activity. So let's keep going with this, all right? What does that really mean? So this can become very beneficial for women's health because if you naturally have high estrogen levels, then the weak estrogens from the lignans, so think of it as you're gonna have strong lignans that you might have, uh, sorry, strong estrogen in your body, then you're gonna have the weak estrogens from lignans that will actually bind to some of the estrogen receptor sites. So think of your, 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 you know, your cancer cells, whatever. Uh, these cells all have receptors on them, right? And so the whole goal is to fill these receptors with the weaker version of estrogen from the lignans versus the ones that you have already in your body. And by doing that, you're actually reducing the total estrogen activity because it's weaker. So as explained by Dr. Christine Horner, uh, who is a board certified general and plastic surgeon, also who wrote an award-winning book on how to protect and fight breast cancer naturally, uh, she said, there are all sorts of different strengths to estrogens. Let's say estradiol, which is the strongest, most abundant form, if it hooks onto the estrogen receptor, what happens then is that it may cause a thousand cell divisions. So again, this is a different one. So again, there's enterodial and the enterolactone, which is what happens when we convert the plant lignin to human lignans. This is the other one that's sort of in your body. But again, if you, I believe it's in your body, but in short, um, if you do have this, it can cause a thousand cell divisions. So that's how it kind of spreads, right? But if the plant estrogen hooks on, it may cause one. So when you flood your system with these plant estrogens or phytoestrogens as they're known as, it's like a game of musical chairs. So, you know, you have all this, these receptors and you have all these available, essentially estrogen-like things. And you want to fill them with as many plant lignans as possible because it's going to not cause that a thousand cell divisions, right? And so there are only a certain number of receptors and whoever gets there first gets that spot basically. And in other words, by filling it with the plant lignin, they're blocking the strong estrogen from getting on. So that's why it has an inhibitory effect. And so um, on the other hand though, if you're, estrogen levels are low, lignans may also help to supplement your levels to promote a more optimal balance. So its effect on hormonal balance is just one way that these plant compounds may benefit your health. Let's go on here. Next, it talks about, again, how lignans may help fight cancer. So again, the anti-estrogenic effect of lignans, which is their ability to block the effects of estrogen in the tissues, could potentially help reduce the risk of hormone-associated cancers, from, which are like breast, uterine, ovarian, and prostate. 
And so again, with a review published by the Critical Reviews in Clinical Laboratory Sciences, they said experimental evidence in animals has shown clear anti-carcinogenic effects of flaxseed or pure lignans in many types of cancer. So you know, we know that lignans have so many benefits, but again, we're focusing primarily today on the breast health. In particular, uh, regarding postmenopausal women, there's been research suggesting that these women who have a high intake of dietary lignans have a 15% lower risk of breast cancer compared to those with a low intake. And this is for postmenopausal women. In fact, a meta-analysis of 21 studies similarly found high lignin exposure may be associated with a reduced breast cancer risk in postmenopausal women. And a study of thousands of Canadian women, thousands of Canadian women also reviewed, revealed lignin-rich flaxseed intake is associated with a reduction in breast cancer risk. So there's just so much articles out there. And if you're wondering, well, how come this hasn't been made even more sort of known to, I guess, the general public, aside from these websites that have tried to do the best in doing this, I think it has to do with the way that the money works in the world. Because again, this is not something that is like a drug that is prescribed by a doctor that of course is money related. This is something that can be found in your grocery stores, you know, flax seeds, right? And so there hasn't really been a, 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 those pharmaceutical companies or those types of companies that can sort of monetize this. That's why it's probably not as, as talked about as you know, drugs or other things might be, right? So uh, another really cool thing about lignans in regards to breast health is a study comparing the effects of sesame seed lignin and flaxseed lignin in reducing the growth of human breast tumors in mice revealed the sesame seed lignin re uh, reduced probable tumor size by 23%, okay, uh, compared to control and also increased apoptosis. So apoptosis basically is programmed cell death and cells should die, uh, especially if you have the essentially bad cells. So with cancer cells, essentially, you actually want them to die because then you know, cells regenerate and you have a fresh, clean cell you know, in simple layman terms. So in other words, they're saying that it can also help to increase apoptosis, which helps to increase cell death and the program cell death, which again, can reduce essentially cancer, right? So um, moving down here as well too, uh, some other really amazing stuff here that I was reading on the site. Here's an actually another uh, uh, research done by the University of Maryland Medical Center saying that postmenopausal women who are newly diagnosed with breast cancer ate a muffin with 25 grams of dietary flaxseed every day for 40 days. The study found that adding flaxseed to the diet may have the potential to reduce tumor growth in women with breast cancer. And moving further along here, by Dr. Horner, there are hundreds of studies showing that flax not only protects against breast cancer more effectively than any other food that we know of, but may also shrink the breast tumors. Another research done by Lillian Thompson at the University of Toronto, which is where I went for university, uh, but anyways, whatever, uh, who has done many flag studies on flag seeds and estrogen-positive tumors. In one of the studies, she found that estrogen-positive breast tumors shrank in every woman, not just like a selection or a, a percentage of them, but in every woman that was given flag seeds for three weeks experienced in, in the estrogen-positive breast tumors, they actually shrank. And so she even had a personal experience with this, said Dr. Horner, because her business manager's mother developed breast cancer. And then she started her on three tablespoons of flaxseed per day, plus a potent herbal antioxidant. And I have one really cool product that I'm gonna be talking about that has sort of all this in one. And her tumor was 1.5 centimeters on the mammogram. At the time of the surgery, three weeks later, her tumor shrank down to 0.5 centimeters. So with all these cancer-fighting effects, not surprisingly, research shows that women who have the highest level of lignans in their body have the lowest risk of breast cancer. And here's a cool thing. There are many sources of lignans. Flax seeds contain 100 times more lignans than any other known plant source and are one of the most powerful foods you can eat to lower your risk of breast cancer. And again, today I'm going to share with you guys a really cool product that I've been personally using now that I highly suggest that compared to the flaxseed, 
has 17 times more lignans than the flaxseed. And the flaxseed has 100 more times than any other plant source. So it's an incredible product here. So now there is a controversy or a misunderstanding out there because people, uh, some people have put on YouTube videos that is just shocking how it's actually up there, has so many, uh, I guess, reviews and watches, was that they think that by consuming lignans, which can mimic somewhat the female hormone estrogen, that it means that you're getting too much estrogen. But again, we just read all this information that explains how the plant uh, estrogen, the phytoestrogen, is a lot different. It doesn't do the same effect that the woman's estrogen does with a thousand times cell you know, division. With the plant version, you might just get one, not a thousand. So you want your body to have more of these phytoestrogens versus um, the ones that you already have to fill all of those receptors on the cells, right? So there are many different drugs out there that you can buy that try to do the same thing by filling the receptors or by creating more of an apoptosis reaction in your body. But again, the most natural way, of course, again, is through lignans here. So Dr. Thompson and others' research show that flax lignans fight breast cancer in a number of ways, including, number one, lowering your overall production of estrogen. Two, creating more of a good protective type of estrogen versus the one that's in your body. Three, decreasing three different growth factors associated with the growth of breast cancer. Four, lengthening your menstrual cycle. Five, blocking environmental estrogens from attaching to the breast tissue. Six, protecting your breast tissue from the damaging effects of environmental toxins. Number seven, blocking the aromatasic enzyme in a way similar to the drug Arimidex. So what this aromatase enzyme does is it actually creates more estrogen in your body. So by blocking this enzyme, it's going to reduce the amount of creation of estrogen in your body. Again, instead of doing the drug version, which most drugs have side effects, you know, who knows, uh, but I don't prefer to do drugs. I'd rather go the more natural route, hence Dr. McCullough. And of course, uh, blocking the estrogen receptor in a way similar to the drug, again, uh, tell us if you want to call it. So again, the more natural way. So it's just amazing how many things lignans can do, yet it's not, I guess, really talked about because it's, you know, as we know why already. So again, there's so many other benefits with heart health and potential bone health and the antioxidant effects and all that kind of stuff here, right? But you can see here that just flax seeds, uh, in short, are most abundant in, in lignans. Now, one other website I'd like to go to is called lignans.net. And by the way, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe, like this video. I'm gonna post these links in the video as well too, so you have this article to go back to for yourself. In this article uh, from lignans.net, again, talking about all the benefits of lignans from men health, women health, to canine health. Let's focus again today specifically on breast health. Here, click over here. And in short, the main thing that is, is being said here is the same thing on the previous pages from two different sources here. But again, talking about how estrogens can bind to the receptors and, and in other words, these phytoestrogens or the plant estrogens bind to the receptors, but their estrogenic activity is much weaker than the endogenous ones that you already have in your body. So they may actually block the effects of potential harmful estrogen in some tissues. I get talking about the same things here, right? And so uh, what's really key here is that they're talking here about two types of lignans. One is called hydroxymetricinal, HMR, and the other, I can't even pronounce this properly, secosolaricinal, SDG, and HMR are both plant estrogens that are converted to the human estrogens called mammalian phytoestrogens. So in short, again, just summarizing what they're trying to say here is that there's five ways that lignans help to reduce the risk of breast cancer. Number one, again, they bind to the estrogen receptors, causing the endogenous estrogen from having a place to act. That's a natural occurring one that you already have in your body by, again, by blocking those receptors with the plant ones. They also induce the sex hormone binding globulin, SHBG, which ties up more estrogen. So again, trying to balance the hormones in your, in your system and keeping the, the other hormones in your, in your body, the estrogen, more busy. 
Number three, lignans are high in antioxidants, the highest of all fruits and vegetables. So the antioxidants help attack free radicals, which are responsible for many different types of cancers. Number four, again, lignans block the aromatase enzyme, which we mentioned before is responsible for producing more estrogen in your body. And five, to summarize, breast cancer actually needs estrogen in order to grow. And by diminishing these estrogens, then the cancer cells may start to die through the apoptosis uh, part of it. And so again, there's just so much studies. It's not like this is sort of theory because again, that would just not count, but uh, the science is here, but also the studies. So look at this one really cool study here, a French study conducted over seven years with 58,049 women, not 50 women, not 500 women, but 58,000 women over seven years, they found out that high dietary intakes of plant lignans were associated with reduced risk of breast cancer in a Western population that does not consume a diet rich in soy. So again, they're just talking about how taking lignans, it's hands down obvious that it reduces the risk of breast cancer. So just get more lignans in you, right? And of course, uh, more and more talking about how uh, just different published medical studies talking about the same thing. Now, one other cool article that I came across, uh, I'm going to share the link to this document that I found. Uh, let's see where it is here. Where is that document here? Give me one second as I just quickly um, share with you this really, really cool document. And what I found out was it's like a document filled with so many of the collection of lignin studies that were done over the last like 20, 30 years. So I just found it. I'm going to go and share this one over here. So again, I'll put a link to this in the YouTube uh, description channels. But this is seven pages of published studies or published medical journal studies, like on PubMed.com, for example. And there's seven pages of this. And if you were to go and grab this document and search for the word breast, you know, you, this is again the first study that we just saw, right? The French study with 58,000 females. But it goes on and on and on, just repeating how lignans are so beneficial when it comes to breast health, right? Now, one of the key questions that I got before was, is, is, you know, Renee, can you take too much lignans, basically? And the one cool thing I want to show you is what we want to look at is the word toxicity because in consuming too many vitamins or too many different kinds of certain kinds of vitamins or too much of anything eventually leads to traces of, of toxicity, which can be harmful. The great thing about the lignans, again, this S thing that we looked at before, it was discovered to be a very potent antioxidant, but no toxicity was found in lignans. And so again, you can't really overconsume because there's no toxicity. And again, you're not gonna go and try to eat like a thousand flax seeds a day. Like you just body couldn't even handle it. And that's the issue with, I guess, the flax seed is that you know you can't consume too much. So I came across another product that I want to share with you guys that is much easier to take than the flax seed. It's also much faster to absorb. And so, uh, but you know, I'll, I'll get back to that right now, actually. I'm going to stop my screen here and go back to my other uh, browser here. So the product that I came across that, you know, of course, I'm now promoting because it works so well for my family, my entire family, and so many people that I know now, is called the Fountain of Life. And the Fountain of Life basically is the world's most powerful plant antioxidant. So again, the flaxseed was the most powerful one before. The amount of lignans per the same, like 100 sort of milliliters of measurement of the flaxseed, let's say, this has 17 times more lignans than the flaxseed. And the flaxseed had like 100 times more than the regular plants or vegetables, right? So in short, um, this product here called Fountain of Life, I highly recommend it because again, it's a drop. So instead of having trying to, you know, grind your seeds or put it into your cereals or, and, you know, with seeds, 
it takes 20 minutes to travel down into your intestine and you're hoping that it will go in through the blood vessels in your intestine and not all of it does can absorb. Whereas I love this because it's very simple. It's a drop like this. And all you gotta do is squeeze it every morning, you know, take 20 to 40 drops twice per day is what is what's recommended by the US uh, department, I guess. Uh, they wrote about this. And that's all you gotta do is take 20 to 40 drops per day. I do way more, especially if I'm not feeling well, whatever it is, because not only are the lignans beneficial for the breast health, but in general health, having the world's most potent antioxidant just is, is, is important. And you also take this under the tongue so that the absorption into the blood vessels is much more quicker than trying to wait 20 minutes to travel it down through the intestine. So what I do is I leave this under my tongue for about five to 10 seconds and then I swallow the rest. And simple, easy, you can leave it in your car, leave it in your purse. The cool thing is that it can't even freeze unless you go below minus 50 and it can't go bad in the heat unless you go beyond 200 degrees Celsius. So it's really amazing. Um, and it comes from the New Regent spruce tree. It's a very special tree that basically can live for thousands of years. It's a self-healing tree. It's a, it's a disease-free tree. And so uh, this company, though, they developed 22 patents that allows your body to quickly absorb this. Uh, apparently, some other companies tried to harvest the same kind of lignans from the tree, the Norwegian spruce tree, but they don't really have the patents that allow your body to quickly absorb it into the bloodstream. So they're the only company that has this in, in, in liquid form with, of course, uh, the 22 patents. It's Health Canada approved, which I love that. has an NPN number. It's made in Canada, but of course, technology from you know, uh, Norway and, and Finland. So in short, um, that was the video that I wanted to share with you guys, just talking again about uh, lignans with breast health. And I suggest that the best source of lignans is gotta be, it's for sure, from Fountain of Life. Again, if someone referred you to this video, please contact back the person. If you want to place an order, please order it back through them. Otherwise, if you came across this video by randomly, uh, my link of course is also in the video as well too. Anyhow, I want to say thank you for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, like the video. If you know anyone in your life that, you know, that knows females, which is everybody, please do share this incredible video because I know we can help a lot of people in a more natural route to stay healthy for a long period of time. Thanks so much, guys, and I will see you next time on my next video. Bye.